All right, guys, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. Uh, today we are going to assemble an aero storage building. It is a 10 by 8. The customer already started there. The process here, he assembled basically the lower part of the outline of the frame here. So he's he got up to step five and then um, just kind of didn't have anyone to help him out. So we're coming out to uh, start from this point and finish it. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly what he did to, to get to this point and then we will take it from there. My brother and I, we're, we're going to go ahead and start putting the walls up and show you guys step by step how it's done. So I will take you through the first portion or part that the customer already completed just to show you how to get to this point as well. Okay, so the whole setup comes with the owner's manual and assembly instructions. They got the first five steps pretty much already assembled. So you got the bottom frame here, left and right. This is a 10 by eight. Show you guys how to square it up to from corner to corner basically. And just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the kit comes uh, to the home. Everything's labeled. They have uh, instructions on anchoring the shed down. So they, they don't recommend putting it in the ground, but the customer just wants it on the ground. And this is what I wanted to show you here, step one. All the metal pieces are, pieces are labeled and then uh, assemble it. So this is the front section here, which he already did right there. It's got a little entrance ramp. And step two is getting the frame assemblies together, getting all these pieces together. Just make sure you match up all the numbers and you just screw them together with the screws uh, and bolts that come in the packaging for the hardware that's needed. Step three is getting the double main roof beam assembly. And I believe there's two of those. And step four is uh, basically the completed beam assemblies. We'll see if you got these plastic pieces in there. If not, we'll put them in there. So we'll go to step five after we verify steps one through four, because this is where it looks like he is according to this. These are the beams that he's already assembled. As you can see here, you just put the screws through, pull through the flat air, uh, flat section here and the tall sections there. Get all the pieces together and it will slowly be able to be put together. And we're going to get to the walls after we verify the beams and the main frame supports here and make sure it's squared up. Okay, so this is how you check if it's square. Just measure it corner to corner this way and then the other way and make sure you get similar measurements. We got about 153, uh, like 152 and 7 eighths. Measured both, uh, you know, from corner to corner here. And now we got very, very similar numbers. It's off by about a quarter of an inch on either direction so we can adjust that as we put the walls up it'll kind of square up but definitely do that before you start adding pieces to the the main frame here what we're doing right now for step four is getting these guys in place the nine three six six the two of those as well as the six four zero three which is basically the door track splice uh joining the two door track pieces end to end as shown so that's what nathan's doing here make sure the holes line up uh, basically on the door track splice, the brown with paint side up, you want to make sure you have the one with all the holes at the top. That's what we're, what we're going to use to screw the door track galvanized piece in place. So you're just going to go ahead and slide it in. And it's about midway because then the other end, the other one's going to come in there and it should slide in fairly easily. And they recommend wearing gloves, but uh, we feel pretty confident we'll be safe. Uh, putting these guys together. All right, so just bring the door track splice and the door track together here as one piece. And then we're gonna screw them together with just four of the little screws, the four of the little Phillips screws right there. Okay, so when you put the door track splice with the door track together here, remember it's the two pieces sliding into the door track splice. You have four screws that you're gonna put in place here. And those four screws on the brown painted side, we already put one in. There's only four pre-drilled holes. So that's the side you want to put it on. You got two screws in already, right? And then you got two in the center that we're going to put it last. So you don't want to do it on this side. This will be used, utilized later. Just flip it to the side that has the four pre-drilled holes. Get the screws in. And a small 12 volt impact gun will work just fine. And there you go. So now you got the four screws in place. Let's move on to the next step. It's still step four, but it's the second part of step four. You got step three and four or four is just sliding these door slides into place. Make sure they're properly oriented. 
when you slide them in. So Nathan's got the four plastic pieces there. And yeah, with the rounded part facing down away from the multi holes. You just slide them in place. And it's just two on each side. Okay, so yeah, pay attention to uh, placing these plastic uh, door slides in place. Make sure all your hole, drilled holes are slanted the same way across the whole um, beam there. So it's four of them exactly the same way. So that should be the finished part of step four here. We've got the two door slides on the left side of the beam or the track and the two slides on the right side. We'll go on to the next step. Okay, the first part of step six, uh, this is where they say you need at least two people. And this is where we're gonna get all the screws with those plastic washers to make sure it keeps the water out. Right now we're getting the 9362 corner pieces. It's four of them and Nathan has them. And you can look at the top right there. You see that that matches the shape of the corner there. So just get these four pieces and like we said they're all going to be labeled 9362 four corners we're going to go ahead and get them in place and then we got to get the 8995 and the 9372s we're going to get two of each again for step six you need 26 screws and four bolts with nuts and plastic washers on everything we do from this point on it's saying what we're doing right now is getting this first front corner piece in place uh, basically, you're gonna go through this hole here and you match it up with this little tiny hole. There's only one small hole here and that's gonna hold that in place. So I'll hold it, Nate, and then you can go ahead and screw it. So this is the first corner piece. Remember, they're all marked 9362 and he's gonna go get a screw with the plastic washer. And again, definitely, it's definitely useful to have two people, just like they're saying. Have that plastic washer for weather protection. All right, so that's holding the corner piece there. Of course, we'll get the other four corners in place and we'll show you how it looks, but do the same thing, all four corners. And then we're gonna move on to getting the panels uh, attached to the corner pieces here. So we're doing the front. So he's getting a 9372, as you can see, step two of step six. So part two of step six is what we're working on. You get that panel in place and then they can kind of freely stand. So then he's bringing a 9372 panel, which will attach to the corner, which we already have the one screw. I'm holding it. Definitely hold it in place until you get that, that panel uh, properly attached. Okay, so now we're getting the top screw in place here on the first corner, which is the front left corner. That's what we're working on at this moment. He's just going to get a screw through to get an initial attaching, just to kind of start building the structure out. Okay. So we got that, and then you, in the center, on all the center holes here in the corner, those guys get bolts. So the center pieces get bolts, not screws. So top and bottom get screws, center gets bolt. And that's what we're gonna do for all four corners. Uh, again, just make sure you match those up and we'll show you what it looks like here after we're all done with these three, uh, well, two screws and one bolt. Okay, so we got the first corner, corner piece right here with the corner panel in place. And it can stand by itself if it's not windy or if you're, uh, if the track is pretty level. Again, it's just, it's pretty flimsy metal, but obviously this, the structure uh, gets more solid as things come together. But this is the first corner piece here. You're gonna have, remember, get these plastic washers on, four screws, five screws at the bottom, one bolt in the middle, one screw at the top, one screw at the bottom here. So just go in the order that it shows you in the instructions, but we're gonna go ahead and finish out the four corners and then we'll show you guys what that looks like because all four corners are gonna be assembled the same. And that's what they want us to build first is these four corners. And so we'll go forward and show you the outcome. All right, we have step six completed with uh, part four, step six, these four corners here. They are up and uh, somewhat stabilized. Again, the metal sheet is pretty flimsy. So you can see, I just got some bars pushing in the opposite direction just to keep them from blowing over. If you do not hold them in place or have some kind of steadying uh, element to them, uh, you see that one, the wind is blowing a little bit and it's, it's trying to fall over. But anyway, we got the four corners done right here. The section is done. We will move on to step seven. All right, so the first part of step seven, you need 30 screws with washers and just two screws with no washers. But we're gonna get these two rear wall angle assembly across the inside top of the rear wall using screws. So we're gonna get the 9917 in place and the 5986. And you start off in the back. So you fasten the rear wall channel assembly across the middle of the rear wall using screws. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll go on to the next part. We have the two beams across the middle and then the corner beam or post across the back. And this goes on the inside of the panels. Um, 
just in case you were wondering. So definitely put it on the inside for both the center and the top. We're now gonna go on to parts three and four of step seven, which is getting the, the two side runners and the two top corner pieces for the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in place and then we'll go on to the next step. We have just completed part three and four of step seven here, where we got the center beams all the array around, except for the front, because that's gonna have a little bit different setup and the top uh, beams here all the way around as well. So for the three sides, these are all in place. Again, make sure all your screws have the plastic plastic gaskets so it's weather protected. And now the structure is a little more solid, more rigid, so it can hold itself up. We are going to go now to step seven, part five, which is this right here. We're going to put this front uh, door track assembly in place, and then we'll show you guys how that looks. Okay, guys, now we have the door track assembly in place here at the front, and so that's uh, part five of step seven here that's complete so we're gonna go on to step eight step eight right here is getting all these panels out and kind of just placing them in their order uh, as you can see here the back ones are eight nine nine fives just two of those and then we have a nine three six four and an eight nine nine five in the middle of the nine three six fours on the two sides so we're gonna go ahead and lay them out and then uh, we'll just go from there we got the uh, back panels all in place it's looking good, it's coming together, it's becoming more structurally sound. Looks good. So now we're gonna get these three side panels up. We will go on to these next three panels and show you guys what that looks like. Just real quick, I wanna show you, once you put the panel up, if your uh, mainframe is pretty well assembled and squared up, they'll just line up. So you'll see the holes here, and this is where you put the screws with the plastic washers. So just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Okay guys, so we got all the walls up. The only opening remaining is the, the sliding doors here. So you just go around and get all the screws in the top, bottom, and middle. And then you're gonna have bolt sections where it's gonna be bolts in the like the rivets here. So just pay attention to the instructions. It'll tell you where you put in the bolts. And uh... Okay, so we just finished this step here. Got everything in place. Got all the bolts and the screws in place all the way down to part five of step eight. So again, just keep in mind, there's gonna be some areas where you have a, a nut with a bolt versus just screws coming through. So be aware of that. Basically the nuts and bolts are in the center where it, the indentation goes outward there. So you're gonna have a few in the middle everywhere. And then up top middle, you can see here, you got a nut and bolt and two areas coming in from the outside there. So just keep that in mind to not just use screws everywhere. And you won't be able to because the holes are gonna be bigger holes like this all the way through. And that's made for the nuts of the, and the bolts. Whereas you know it's for screws when you have a smaller hole like that versus the big hole like that. So let's go on to step nine. Okay, so right now step nine is we're gonna require 18 screws with plastic washers and four bolts, nuts, plastic washers, and acorn nuts. But we are going to assemble the inside bar here, or we're gonna get the inside bar installed right here for the two side panels where the doors are gonna be sliding. And then we're gonna uh, install two of the side panels that are right next to the door. We're gonna do these uh, sections here and we will show you the outcome. Okay, something to avoid doing is not screwing this bottom screw in the uh, lighter panel until you get this uh, door, sliding door panel in place first because you're gonna use that one screw to get everything in one place. So Nathan's just taking it out. And there you go, you go through everything with that one screw. Figure since we uh, overlooked that, we wanted to show that with you guys so you don't have to overlook it. All right guys, so we got the main structure in place. We got the panels up, the main frame in place to attach to the panels or vice versa. So that's what it looks like. Again, just wanted to show you here, showing that we put a screw through both uh, panels there onto the door track. So make sure you don't overlook that. So step nine is complete. The next step, this is step 10. Start getting the uh, roof elements in place, the uh, triangles that are gonna keep the uh, slant or the downgrade of the roof. It's gonna be these pieces right here, and we'll show you the outcome. On the roof gables, you gotta put this plastic trim on the edge. So you just basically just press it on. Nathan's gonna show you here. It's got a little opening there, and it slides on pretty easy. Just do that with all four gables. That's what we did. We got them all on there. We will move on to the next step. 
So the next step is to put on the uh, the roof beam brackets onto the roof gables and we're putting all four in place so that way we can mount and uh, install the beams to get ready to put the roof panels on. Alright y'all so we got uh, part two of step 10 completed where we have the roof beam brackets in place right here and you make sure you have the longer separation uh, holes down where the two holes are closer you have it towards facing upward so that's the direction you want to get these brackets in place and do that on four, all four gables and we're ready to go on to step 11. so for step 11 that's exactly what we do get the gables onto the wall and then we already got the two brackets here the gable brackets to keep the two gables together uh, we're going to go ahead and do that we also have the track supports we're going to go ahead and do all these steps here and show you the final outcome for step 11. All right, you guys, now we have both the front left and right gables and the back left and right gables in place. This is what's gonna hold these uh, three beams that are right there waiting for us in place. So we'll show you guys the final result once we get the beams up. So now we're gonna go to step 12 that we got the gables up and we will show you guys the final result. All right, you guys, we just finished uh, step 12, but we got all three beams in place. Center one here. And then the two uh, uh, smaller beams on the left and right. But again, just get uh, you just put these bolts and nuts right through the bracket and right through the beam. You just do that on all six locations here on either end of the beams, and you'll be good to go. This will keep the uh, gables more straight too. When you saw them kind of leaning outward at the beginning, this brought them into place. And now we're going to go on to step 13 here, and it looks like step 13 is getting on the right roof panel. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we will show you the outcome of that effort. Okay, so step 13, it just shows you the sequence that you're gonna put the roof panels onto the roof. And we started with the right roof panel back here. It's this one right here. And then you go on to the left back, and then the left front, and then the right front. So you just go in that order, as you can see there, one, two, three, four, and then you go back to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you'll have your roof completely assembled. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and show you the end result. All right, step 15 is done. The bridge caps and panels are all in place. This is what it looks like there. I can't see it really because I'm filming with my camera above my head, but all said and done. We're gonna go on to the next step where we get some of the trim. Let's see, we're gonna get the roof trim in place here on the edges in the front, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, you guys, we got all the trim pieces in place, corner plastic pieces here, and then the badge in the front, on both the front and the back is there. All that's remaining now is we gotta do step 17 for assembling the doors. So it looks like a lot, but it takes you step by step here. So step one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then the last step is just hanging them on the, uh, to be even along the length of the, the rack. All right, so again, that last step was assembling the two sliding doors. And this shed is done. Y'all, this shed is looking very good and it is complete. So let me just show you guys how the doors slide. Again, if you assemble everything correctly, Got a nice sliding feature there, nice and clean. So now the gentleman's got a shed that he need, can use anytime he needs. He's got stoppers, both left and right. And he just uses the plastic handles you can lock. It has two matching holes on the bottom and top. Pretty nice secure locking feature there, but it's good to go. Thanks a lot, Nate. All right, y'all. Thanks again for joining us. We appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. We are very, very hopeful that this video uh, has encouraged you or is helping you assemble a shed if you got the same kind of shed. And uh, of course, if it has been helpful, please like, share, comment, click the bell icon, and of course, subscribe. It's very encouraging to us to keep making videos for you all. As always, we're here to help you find the tools, tech, and DIYs to help make life a little easier and work a little more efficient. Until next time.